hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys for returning back i do not take you guys for granted thank you so much indeed i'm so happy to be back once again to share with you okay so today i'm going to be talking about the pressures in finance the financial pressures um, one thing is that we all face financial pressures one way or the other whether you're single you're married You're a bachelor your spinster Whatever we all face financial challenges. We all face financial pressures one way or the other and So I decided to do this video on ways you can deal with financial pressures okay so if it is something you're interested in watching then stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and also click the like button click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video okay all right so let's get right into today's video okay all right, so the question is how can one deal with financial pressures in marriage or how can one deal with financial pressures generally so i kind of wrote down those points like about seven to five points so sharing with you how i actually dealt with my own financial pressures while i was single and also while we i am married or while i am married so we kind of faced a bit of financial issues and to the glory of god god help us and we are growing by the grace of god and i believe that as many who watch this video those that are financially handicapped or um, have financial issues in their homes in their lives the lord will help them um, to figure out ways they can solve that issue in the name of jesus amen Okay, so my first point is going to be plan a budget whenever you have income coming in or whenever an income come in, always plan a budget. Have a planned budget. The how much you how much you have, how much you're willing to spend, how much you're willing to save, what and what you are supposed to buy for the house, um house rent or um food stores, um tides things like that you have to plan it out and be strict try as much as possible to follow your budget don't go out of your budget always always stick to your budget don't go away from your budget except you want to use your extra coin that is fine but whenever you are on a budget try as much as possible especially when you know the time frame um, let's say if you're um your your income usually come by the end of the month you have to have a plan how much you're willing to spend how much you're spending for these bills to pay and stuff like that so that you'll be on track so that you know where to fall back on when you don't have um income or when you know that um maybe something pops up from nowhere and you need money to buy something else you should know that that is not in your budget then you'll be able to is not something that um, is part of your budget you'll be able to stick to your own budget if you understand what I mean okay point will be you should buy what you need not what you want most people usually make this mistake by buying the things that they want not the things that they need that is why it's important to have a list of things that you have for your house that you need for your household for instance maybe you um that's why i always advocate for people to buy in bulk and when things are in season for instance yam let's say your yam you bought your yam in bulk and you know that um by this time this yam supposed to have finished or the yam is almost finished then you'll be able to know that the money you're budgeting for is for the yam then you'll be able to get that yam the next season or the next month or something like that okay not for you to go away from that or maybe you went to the market for instance let me give this typical example of <laughs> what usually happens when you go to the market right you see a lot of things, a lot of goodies that your eyes will be attracted to, to get. But you know what you want or you know what you need. 
not what you want so you go for the things that brought you or took you to the market in the first place to get if you are able to get those things and you have extra coin left from the market money or the things the money you had to buy things in the market then you can buy the things that you want that you want not necessarily that you even need to use at the end of the day but nevertheless at least it's from some um your extra coin that is remaining that would be better off than using the money you're supposed to use to get the items you needed for your home and then using it to get all your necessary things okay all right all right so my next point is always save extra coin that will really help you in the long run you might not see the need to but whenever you save even if it is as little as 100 naira it's i'm telling you this has really helped me in <laughs> this has helped me that is why i have to put this in even if as little as 100 naira have somewhere that you save that money at the long run you for that will be a kind of a backup plan at the end of the day maybe you have need of it to get to help you solve one issue or the other you remember that you had somewhere that you kept something or kept a little amount of money which will be of help for you at the long run one day you might never know you will be in need of that okay my next point is when um when you are in, in a marriage and maybe your husband or yeah let's say your husband is in a financial dilemma or problem or having issues with finance and there is need for you to look for help um i would suggest that you seek for help from your family especially when you know the type of family that you're coming out from seek from help from them when it is necessary not all the time it is only when it is necessary especially if it is just you and your husband maybe you have rights that you can still manage then manage it not i really would not say whenever you are in um financial dilemma then you go and be looking for help in your family sometimes you can tag your husband in a wrong manner or in a wrong place so sometimes you can just seek for help from them it's not it's, it's your family it's your family it's not a big deal you can seek from help from them but it should be when it is necessary for you to when it is in a, when you guys are in a really bad state that you actually need help then yeah seek for help from family when it is necessary Okay, so my next point is you should always stand by your partner, your husband, whenever they are fi finding it difficult to navigate during a period like this. Um, at the, it is this it is at this point that they need you most for you to stand by them. And that is why when you were on the, at the altar, you took the oath to stand by him in sickness and in health, in riches and in poverty or for for. for poorer for richer or something like that yes those were the oaths you took so that is the time that he needs you more to be there for him stand by him okay all right always reassure your partner and let him know that you're there for him and that this is just a phase it will come and it will pass everybody passed through that phase one thing one way or the other so it is something that he should learn from he should be able to face it and also find a way to navigate through it okay and do well to also um show support support him that is why i always encourage ladies women to involve themselves to be independent to find have something doing it is during that time that you can support one way or the other even if it is the little money that you have for a day that you can use it to feed okay that will be of great help and he will see you as a reliable person to look up to while he figure out ways to stand up or find uh, figure out ways to stand on his feet okay or to bounce back up okay all right so my last point is prayers pray for your husband pray for your home pray for your family pray for him pray that the favor of the lord will be upon him wherever he set his feet the lord will guide him will protect him will self guide him will lead him aright that wherever he uses hands will be 
a blessing that he will receive blessing for wherever he puts it, he lay his hand or put his hand in whatever business he puts his hand, or involve himself in if it is working place that he shall have favor even before his co-workers or colleagues he shall find favor even before his superiors and all that pray for him prayer is is very 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 important like i always usually used to say prayer can never be overemphasized pray for your home pray for your husband pray for your family pray for yourself as well and i believe by the grace of god you'll come out strong and better okay so if you like this video please please and please please help my ministry help our family so that it will can grow together we can grow we can continue sharing tips and advice that will help us out one way or the other you can also share your own suggestion or your own opinion on the comment section please don't always um watch the video and then you don't leave anything any comments behind that will help us improve better if you have any suggestion on maybe the topic that you want us to talk about then put that in the comment section i would like to know so that we i can figure out ways i can bring those content to you guys okay thank you so much for watching do have a nice day bye guys